hi everyone hello how are you doing okay so welcome to my channel please like subscribe comment do whatever you have to do to stay updated and oh my gosh i have not done a video for absolutely ages um i actually launched this youtube like almost a year ago my last video was probably like a good four five months ago we're in 2018 guys um i always say this i'm gonna try and upload videos as much as possible but literally guys my life has done a 360 the time i launched my youtube channel i actually did not have a job like i didn't have a job so um it was easy for me to have time and record and edit and what have you not but 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 i'm gonna try my best i'm actually going to try and at least upload once a week at at the minimum at the bare minimum once every two weeks i guess so this video is basically catch up with me uh what i've been up to what i've been doing what i haven't been doing the areas that i've grown in um the areas that i feel like i need to grow in and that's just basically all i'm gonna do today so for the new people my name is deborah darling yes it is my real name it's hyphenated i would say that my parents were just really really creative when they thought of my name um to be honest it's actually quite a blessing to have my name because i guess i'm the only deborah darling that i know so hi <laughs> you'll find out that as much as i love jesus i'm actually quite crazy but i'm crazy in love with jesus so hopefully that kind of like goes together i hope so anyway i hope it's yeah my mission in life is just basically for everybody to feel the love of jesus the way i have the way i felt it um not exactly the same way but to feel his love as i have also felt his love and to just spread that love and to just encourage other people that are on their walk i like to give motivational messages i like to give inspirational messages i preach here and there i lead worship i lead praises i lead prayers i just want the young christian the more mature christian i want every Everybody to just love each other that's just basically like all I want and my motto is pain birth my passion that basically came from the simple fact that I've been through so much pain in my life but I didn't allow that pain to keep me settled keep me down keep me at a place where I didn't feel worthy I didn't want it to keep me there anymore do you know what I had lost the patience for being down all the time and being negative I just lost the patience I was just like god let's do it again right so enough about the background about me let's do a catch-up so since the last time I was here and we did a question and answer and all that jib jab um I was at the time a biochemical field technician I am no longer that person <laughs> I've kind of like dropped the science career route so last year in I keep forgetting whether it was March or April that I got fired from my job okay let's just say March or April so I got fired from my job and um, it was it wasn't a complete shock but it was a shock at the same time so a week before I got fired I actually prayed a prayer and I was fasting at the time and I said to God release me into my destiny and I prayed so hard I was like God I'm ready like yes this is why they say be careful what you pray for release me i want to go whatever wherever you want me whatever you want me to do wherever you want me to go i'm ready i'm ready to say yes and i'm ready to say yes wholeheartedly um little did i know that seven days later i was going to be released <laughs> when i was fired obviously the emotions got to me but deep 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 down i knew that god had much more in store for me the day i got fired i had a friend that said to me watch in the next three months something's about to happen your life is really going to change now i just thought three months is a very short period like we think it's a long period but three months is actually quite a short period for someone's life to change so fast forward i was on instagram live doing a live worship session because you guys know i love me some worship and I was just worshipping on live, singing, pouring out my heart and I felt the presence of God so strongly all of a sudden I felt the Holy Spirit say to me these women that are on here are broken I didn't know what type of brokenness but I knew that I could sense the broke I could feel the brokenness and God was like you need to do a worship night for these women and I thought well there's so many worship nights why does it why do we have to do a worship night and God was like the, it needs to be a healing and deliverance worship night this all happened on Instagram live. A minister said to me, well, you know, Moses got his call, you know, a burning bush. And I guess it's 2017, you got, you got your call on Instagram. Like, <laughs> I'd be laughing, but guys, God can use you anywhere. 
Um, yes. So that's where this movement started. The women at war. <laughs> that happened on Instagram live. And it was overwhelming because I was thinking, how am I going to execute this? I don't have a job. I don't have money. Where am I going to find a venue? So I only expected for like 25 women maximum to show up. Like I, I only put out 50 tickets, I think, initially. And I thought, okay, only... 25 women will come so we started looking for venues and it just got a bit tricky and but I kept on um I called like my closest friends and I was like girls I'm gonna need some help um God has given me this vision if you want to back me back me if you don't I won't be mad and that was it we did women at war on the 24th of June and it was ram packed it was so packed that the air conditioning started to leak we had hundreds of women there and we all just worshipped it was just straight pure worship for three hours there was no chairs this is what makes women at war different to your average worship night no makeup no fashion no heels come as you are it's literally come as you are and pour it all out nobody cares what you look like nobody cares where you came from just worship that is all it is about pure authentic worship I can truly say after Women at War, things really, really did change for me. So that was like the three months that my friend was talking about. Things really changed for me. I was getting emails here, there, everywhere. We want you at our church. We want you at our event. We want you to come and speak. We want you to come and minister. We want you to come and do this. And it was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was having this prophecy and that prophecy. And it was just like, whoa. It got really overwhelming. Really, really, really overwhelming. It's like everything blew up so just before we did women at war i went back to the nursery that i was working at before just to get a little bit of money to fund um what we were doing and i was there for like three months and i just wasn't feeling fulfilled i was not feeling fulfilled i wasn't feeling like i was doing what i was called to be doing i i was fed up of waking up in the morning i was upset i wasn't free to do god's work i wasn't free to encourage people during the day because it's a nursery you've got to have your phone away and you know me i love social media ministry like social media ministry is what i love i love doing it because you can reach so many people just at the click of your fingers or just clicking the button and clicking live or whatever and so it just it wasn't suiting me to do the whole nine to five thing and so i quit my job i quit my job without a plan b now i'm not encouraging anybody to do that but i quit that job without a plan b and <sighs> I didn't know what I was doing. I got really down. I didn't get depressed, but I got really down and I just pray. I was praying every single day. I was waking up at 5, 6 a.m. every single day and I was pouring out and I was just like, God, I need your help. Like I'm praying for other people to get jobs. I'm giving people money when they when they haven't got money. But me, myself, I, I, don't, I don't have nothing. So I did a lot of pouring out towards the end of the year. I just started to put all the things that I was good at together. Um, so some of you know that I have a clothing line, line called Olive's Jewels and it's just basically bespoke African inspired clothing. I didn't think too much of it at the time. I just thought I was making pieces here and there. I was designing pieces, but okay, I don't make the pieces, but I was designing pieces here and there. Um, and I didn't think much of it. I just thought, okay, I would sell whatever I have. And, and as I launched that, then I also launched my wig making services. So this is a unit. This is a unit. Hello. This is the hair is provided. The unit is made. It is dyed, cut and styled all by moi. So I, yeah, I provide wig making services as well um so yeah again one of my friends said to me deborah there's so many things that you can do at your fingertips you can actually do so many things why are you not using your gifts why aren't you using your talents to make money rather than going out to get a job and i was like wait that's a good point so i signed up to a babysitting agency um i did that and it was absolutely amazing i met so many great families especially because of the area that i live in um and then i became a full-time nanny for one of the families and yeah this is how everything's but like i actually prayed for a job that would allow me to be flexible with everything that i'm doing in terms of the wig making services in terms of the clothing line and ministry and i wanted everything just to gel and i wouldn't have to juggle my time and be running around like a crazy woman and i prayed for that i actually genuinely prayed for that because i wanted a job where i could get money just so that i could do kingdom work like if anybody knows women at war is not a funded event we are not under anything we are not even sponsored Everything is literally off of whatever cash that 
I get and I just pour it back in and it's and that's the reason why um, it's ticketed it's so that everything can go towards the event we are a non-profit organization and that's basically what I've been doing now so now I'm just a full-time nanny I have my clothing line I have um, the I have the wig making services and ministry this is all I'm doing at the moment and um, it's going great I cannot complain I can just all I can say is that God has been faithful and I'm just so honored to be able to be helping thousands of people men and women um, all around the world it's such a privilege and an honor to just be pouring out and to just give what everything that I've learned like I'm not selfish when it comes to the love of God I want everyone to get it I want everyone to grasp it I I spent a lot of time praying last year so entering into 2018 I can't like I was excited and I still am excited because so many great things have been happening this year um, we have women at war one year anniversary coming up we've got so many things coming up this year that I'm so excited I can't tell you all of the things but closer to the time I will be announcing them um, we're going around the world this year we're going to be preaching the gospel we're going to be helping women we're just going to be sowing back into the kingdom of God and I'm just so honored to have such great support and such great following i'm so grateful to just have god on my side to be honest like and i think that's just pretty much it what i'm basically up to at the moment like i practically don't have a social life anymore everything is just work work ministry work ministry work ministry work but i know it will actually be worth it like i do take some time to rest sometimes and i do take some time to spend time with like my family and um some close ones but i don't i don't do it often when i'm making a phone call i'm probably not at home probably driving and that's like the best time that i can keep in contact with people and i don't really whatsapp anymore and snapchat has just become like a pop sermon and encouraging words and I don't really post what I'm up to anymore but 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 I want to know if you guys want me to start vlogging um and when I say vlogging I know it's going to be quite difficult but I kind of want people to know more about what ministry entails because I think a lot of people just see stages and cameras and lights and microphones and just people responding to you. People see that side of ministry but they don't see like backstage, they don't see prayers, they don't see the fasting, they don't see all of that. And I kind of just want people to know what they're getting themselves into and what it's all about but I won't show obviously my secret place but just a bit more of that and I think that is it it from me and I'm so thankful that you guys watched this video um hopefully more videos to come I love you so much please don't forget to like subscribe comment all of that jibber jab don't forget to follow me on my social media so it's at d deborah darling on instagram it's at d deborah darling on twitter it is on snapchat it's d darlings ltd so that's basically deborah darlings limited but d darlings ltd um that is it from me ciao god bless you